Victoria, British Columbia, is a dynamic, thriving city with historical buildings, a vibrant arts and culture scene, a bustling harbor, and an unparalleled natural environment. We are Malcolm and Rachel, and welcome to our channel. We share everything about our retirement lifestyle. Hey guys. Hey there. We are in Victoria, British Columbia, which is at the southernmost point of Vancouver Island. Yeah, on a lovely September day. It's a gorgeous day today. We came down for just a couple of days and yep. uh, exploring the area a little bit. And we've been here quite a few times before. It's yeah. always nice to explore again. It is. Everything's a little bit different, so it's yeah. always new. And it just got a little bit windy tonight, so we put on our jackets just to block the wind and stay a little warmer. Um, mm -hmm. But it's been a lovely day. It's been in the low 20s. We've been walking around in just you know lighter gear, taking some pictures, enjoying some food by the water, and just looking around. Yeah, great day. Yeah. Named for Queen Victoria in 1843, the city has a large number of historic buildings, including the Parliament buildings with impressive grounds facing the harbour, a fountain, and statue of Queen Victoria out front. At night, it looks majestic, decorated in thousands of lights. The Inner Harbour is Victoria's primary tourist neighbourhood. Historically, it was a shipbuilding and commercial fishing centre. Today, it is a bustling area, very popular with tourists from all over the world, offering transport by water and air, whale-watching tours, art galleries and eateries, and sightseeing, including horse-drawn carriages. Across the street is another historical building, the prominent Fairmont Empress Hotel. Dating back to 1908 with its classic British styling, it boasts views of the Inner Harbour, fine dining along with traditional afternoon tea. Victoria Harbour is served by these little yellow water taxis which can take passengers to various points around the harbour. One location popular with tourists is Fisherman's Wharf where you can walk the docks to see private floating homes and even get some fish and chips and enjoy the view. One of the harbour's busiest spots is at the Victoria Harbour Airport Terminal situated at Wharf Street, steps from the downtown core. It accommodates aircraft with a maximum of 15 passengers and can only be used by float planes and seaplanes. According to Transport Canada, Victoria Harbour is Canada's only certified water airport, a port that is home to cruise ships, float planes, passenger ferries, recreational boaters and kayaks. And not to forget the big yachts in the marina. The airport has earned the title of Canada's, and sometimes the world's, busiest water airport, averaging 100 flight movements a day. Right next to the seaplane area is one of our favorite places to get a meal, Redfish Bluefish. Today we chose hand-rolled fish tacos or tacones and grilled wild salmon with honey lemon on salad. Delicious! And a fantastic location to sit on the dock outside with a view of all the action in the harbour. Walking the streets of Victoria is easy. There are lots of places to eat and numerous shops to find that special memento to remember time spent here. It is by far the largest city on Vancouver Island with 460,000 residents, over half of the island's total population. The city welcomes over 3 million visitors each year with the busiest season being summer. The harbour also offers tours, whale watching, fishing charters, ferries to Vancouver, as well as the Victoria Clipper to Seattle and MV Coho to Anacortes in the USA, and float planes to various locations including Vancouver Airport. In addition, there's a cruise terminal nearby at Ogden Point.
Some of the area's local attractions include the famous 55 acre Bouchard Gardens, Craig Dara Castle, built by industrialist Robert Dunsmuir, a Scottish immigrant who made his fortune from Vancouver Island coal, the site of Fort Rod Hill and the Fisgard Lighthouse, built in 1860, the first permanent lighthouse on Canada's west coast, Hatley Castle, part of the Royal Roads University, and Beacon Hill Park, the crown jewel of Victoria's parks with over 70 acres of beautiful gardens and open space, easily accessible from the city. In the park, there is Beacons Hill Children's Farm, where one of the favorite attractions is their friendly goats. A must see for every visitor is to see the harbor after sunset. So many of the buildings are lit up, and it truly is a beautiful sight. The reflections in the water really make the harbor feel magical. A visit to Victoria isn't complete without a walk along the natural shoreline. Walk along Dallas Road or drive to a lookout point. This one, Clover Point in Fairfield area on the South Shore, has on average a 10 foot tide. The rocky beach has plenty of logs and driftwood, seashells, and seabirds. The Rocky Point juts into the Juan de Fuca Strait, looking across towards Washington State in the USA. Here you can see cruise ships and many other vessels as they approach or depart Victoria. On the East Shore, the charming district known as Oak Bay is known for its British character and beautiful marina. Its town centre is a great place to explore unique shops, art galleries, and enjoy afternoon tea. The area is also home to the Oak Bay Beach Hotel, which offers a luxurious spa and dining experience. The nearby Uplands Park and Sandy Willows Beach are perfect for enjoying the natural beauty of the area. The marina is home to hundreds of boats, and the seals are acutely aware when fishermen return to clean their catch. Harbor seals are the most abundant and commonly sighted marine mammal on our coast. Adults average 150 pounds and 5 feet in length. With their dog like faces and curiosity, they are fun to watch. They are identifiable by their stout, mottled bodies, large heads, and short limbs, and they range in color from grayish white to dark brown to black. Of course, we had to take a walk around the marina to see all the different boats. There was such a variety of sailboats and powerboats, some modern, some older. We're still looking for a West Coast boat, and you never know what you'll find just by looking. After a good visit to Victoria, it was time to get back in the car and start our two hour drive north up island. The highway crosses over the Malahat, a summit of about 1,200 feet, providing two lookout points with some amazing views over the Strait of Georgia towards the mainland of British Columbia. Isn't this a beautiful area? What are your favorite parts of Victoria? Leave us a comment and let us know. And thanks so much for watching.